Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here at Rangeland RV and behind me is the all new 2021 Cedar Creek 38EL Champagne Edition. today guys is I'm going to take you through this fifth wheel. We're going to talk about a lot of the really cool construction benefits that you only see on Cedar Creek and then we're also going to talk a lot about the cool features that you get with the brand as well too. So starting off let's talk about construction. So first thing that we always mention to everybody about Cedar Creek is, especially, is how they're built because this is one of the very few hand constructed fifth wheels that are still available on the market today and when I say that this isn't vacuum bonded, this isn't pinch roll laminated or anything like that. This is a true uh, gel coat fiberglass that they put on this trailer. Um, so what that means is you're going to get a thicker gel coat on the actual side on the actual side of the fifth wheel. So over the years, you're not going to see color fading or anything like that. Um, the other unique part is the actual structure of the fifth wheel. So for an example, most of your aluminum structure fifth wheels are welded together. Cedar Creek is very different, and this is where that hand constructed uh, feel comes into play. Is they actually glue and screw every single one of their studs together with uh, metal adhesive and of course your self-tapping screws all the way through the, ac the actual structure. So over the years, Cedar Creek gets its, its um its integrity of its structure over the years of use. It just gets stronger the more you use it because it allows for it to settle into place. Um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, couple of features on the outside here. So like you guys can see behind me, this has full hydraulic six point auto leveling for you. Um, so all you do is you simply push a button. Of course, it's gonna level out the entire fifth wheel. Um, beside me here, you can also see they have a, uh, a Cooper tire that they're using. So it's not that cheap no name tire you've never heard of before. Before. and this is also a G rated tire so 14 ply so it's nice and strong it's gonna last the full life of the trailer you're not gonna be worried about blowouts especially when you load this thing up um, over top of its 7,000 pound axles um, now there is a really cool feature you guys probably notice I have my cell phone in my hand here and all the new Cedar Creek product is coming with what's called a firefly system um, so this is a full smartphone control operated trailer so I'll show you guys right now I have my my phone paired up to the panel of, of the trailer here and what we're going to do is just simply extend the awning out and all I'm doing is just pushing a button on my phone here you can see it's dragging out the awning for us and I'm just going to simply sit here and hold it until that awning comes out all the way and of course I can put it away as well with this um, when you're using this app you can also operate all your slides and everything there too all your lights on the inside and the outside and it's really really cool there you go like you can see I got that awning fully stretched out for us but with all your lights and everything it's not just a simple on and off you can actually choose the lights that you want to turn on on the inside or on the outside um, same thing with your tank levels I was messing around with this thing just before we started the video it's really cool it actually shows you percentage of your tank levels we don't obviously have any water in this trailer right now and it actually sent me a notification saying hey my fresh water tank is empty put some water in me so it's really really cool how you can operate and see absolutely everything from this fifth wheel right through your smartphone device now up in the front here, you'll see you got a full pass through storage compartment, extra thick storage door as well too. Um, your full rubber matting inside of here so you're not gonna wreck the floors or anything like that. And of course, all Cedar Creeks are built on that modified drop Z frame so you can get that extra storage through your pass through. Other little touches you'll see on the outside as well is we have this Cedar Creek uh, Champagne option with the four camera um, setup. So you're gonna have your side view cameras, you're gonna have your rear backup camera, and you're also gonna have the camera over top of the door. So this is really cool because not just for towing are you gonna use these cameras, but let's say you put it out at a seasonal site somewhere and you wanna set up a security system, that's exactly what that's for. You have four angles of view for your trailer. Now as we work our way to the front here, you'll see we also have the air ride hitch on here from Trail Air. So this is probably the best fifth wheel pin that you can have on the front of a fifth wheel because what you can see here is it has an adjustable airbag for, you know, to help reduce that up and down pressure or the bounciness in the box of your truck. And it also has the gas strut as well too, taking away that front to back chucking motion as well too. So it gives you that really nice smooth ride. 
Um, of course, standard full painted fiberglass cap here. You're gonna see that on all of the Cedar Creek models and they even do some really nice LED lighting there for you. And if you follow me around to the uh, back side of the fifth wheel here, up in our front compartment there, you're gonna be generator prepped. You can also option in the full generator if you'd like to. And then beside me here, you'll have your dual battery compartment. The nice little touch as well is they put all their batteries on sliding trays here so it's really easy to bring the batteries in and out for let's say the winter time when you're wanting to take the batteries out of the trailer. <clears throat> and behind me you're going to have the other entrance into your pass through where you can see some really nice touches from Cedar Creek in the Champagne. For an example, you have the full power reel attachment here so you're not handling that massive 50 amp cord. And at Rangeland, we provide you with all your adapter pieces as well, down from 50 to 110. Um, to finish off in the compartment here as well, you're gonna see your full docking station. Um, really, really well put together because like you can see, you have easy access to all your valves. They have the winterizing tube in there for you and your bypass switches as well. So it's very easy to do your own maintenance on this trailer and they even have a nice little touch here where you can actually control all of your hydraulics right from here so if you want to just put out one slide out instead of you know let's say pushing the slide button and having multiple slides come you can just control them right from here as well and of course fully enclosed and heated gate valves inside here as well now when we're on the topic of using this thing in the winter time um, Cedar Creek has the highest R values in its class for this price point and category of fifth wheel so for example in our floors we have an R45 value for the insulation and up in the ceiling you're gonna have an R40 so most of our competitors I would say actually almost all of our competitors you're gonna see only an R38 um, we also have an R11 sidewall which is a lot better than your standard R9 and this is a true two inch sidewall um, that's giving you that extra insulation now last touch on the last thing I want to touch on before we head inside here is in your Cedar Creek champagne models you're gonna have actually get a full tankless hot water tank here. So you're not worrying about using that six gallon, 10 gallon, 12 gallon hot water tank that's gas and electric. This guy is gas and electric as well, but unlimited hot water. So it's awesome. You can take those long showers, do your dishes and you name it. It's, you're not gonna run out of that hot water. Um, there's actually a couple little things I wanna touch on just before we run inside. So follow me back this way. Um, if you have a look underneath here while we're walking, one of the things I did miss with the tires is you have the full onboard tire pressure monitoring system. So this is gonna tell you the temperature of your tires and the pressure of the tires real time back to your vehicle while you're towing. It's one of the biggest safety things that you're going to see out of Cedar Creek. Um, now on the very far back of the fifth wheel, nice touch that you get only with the Champagne Edition is a full fiberglass rear cap. One of the big benefits with this is, again, just like your front cap, this protects all the main seals around the top, the bottom, and the sides from ever separating and causing water damage. Of course, you're still gonna be wanting to watch your seals and things like that over the years, like any fifth wheel, um, but this is just gonna help keep things more protected and allow for a little bit more of an insulation barrier as well, too. Now, let's run inside and we'll have a look at some of the cool features there. So now that we're inside the Cedar Creek 38 EL, I wanna talk about some of the really cool features that you're gonna find mainly in your living room area here first. Um, jumping back to that smartphone control system that we were talking about, I just wanna show you guys again how easy it is to operate this system. So for an example, I have the app open here and it's showing me my master light option here. So I just hit off and like you can see, kills almost every single light in this trailer except for that little one there that's just a hand push, but that's super easy to do. So we'll turn the lights back on here other little things that I forgot to mention as well in here is you can operate your full HVAC system so heating and air conditioning right through this so currently right now it's telling us it's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit inside the fifth wheel if I wanted to dial that up kick the AC on turn the furnace on you name it you can do it all right from your phone um, so starting with the kitchen here first thing I want to point out is we have optioned this particular fifth wheel in with the 18 cubic foot Norcold gas and electric fridge the reason why we do that is because Again, here in Alberta, lots of people like to dry camp. And one of the big benefits that you have here, guys, is you can operate this massive fridge right off of propane. So it's the absolute largest fridge that you can buy that has gas and electric feature to it. Um, when you jump up to your residential options, you're not really seeing a huge, huge difference in size. So it's a really cool thing to talk about. 
Um, now as we work our way back, one of the features you're going to get with the champagne category of the Cedar Creeks is your wine fridge here. Super, super cool little touch. So you'll always be, have a spot where you can keep the nice white bottles of wine there. Um, cabinetry here, of course, pantry, I should say, sorry. And again, another nice little touch is you're gonna have all these extra drawers here that you can easily access everything, even up into the top. And a nice little touch that you'll see on the bottom drawers, they actually even have a plug-in back there. So if you wanna put your coffee maker here or something like that, slide it out, you know, do what you need to do and then easily slide it away, you absolutely can. And these are all soft closed drawers too, as well. Um, working our way back, into the kitchen here, you're gonna see we have the full Insignia appliance package for your cooking station. So for an example, with this guy here, it's gonna be the residential cooktop that you can get through Cedar Creek, which gives you four burners, and they're individually BTU'd as well. So this is more like a chef style top as well. And then full size oven in here too. So if you did wanna do that Thanksgiving turkey inside the fifth wheel, you easily can. And up above, of course, full-size microwave as well too. Nice little touch to point out too in a lot of these big fifth wheels, especially around your stove, is you don't have a whole lot of counter space. So with something like this, you're gonna see we have lots of room on either side. Again, plug-ins there as well, so if you wanna set up a toaster or something like that, but you're never gonna run out of room of prep area. Um, just um, in front of the stove here, one of the things that would be kind of hard to see from that angle, but is just down below, you'll actually have a dishwasher in here as well too. So nice little touch where you're not having to worry about hand washing or you know throwing the paper plates in the fire pit. You can actually carry some nice dishes with you and easily wash them while you're sitting outside enjoying the fire. Um, working our way across, you're gonna have your entertainment system here where you can mount yourself a nice big TV and then just underneath, you're gonna have the IRV Tech um, entertainment unit. So this is gonna operate all of your speakers inside and outside. You have three zone control here. It's a DVD, CD player, Bluetooth, you name it. It's all ready to go. And then of course, underneath that, you're gonna have your nice 5200 BTU electric heating uh, fireplace as well. Um, I really like the little accents that they put in the Cedar Creek Champagne. So for an example, you can see all this LED lighting around me here, even up into our valences. These are all backlit with LEDs, so it just really classes up that look for you. Um, the couch here, this is going to pull out into a really nice big bed um, if you have any guests that are going to be staying with you. And then of course, looking around at all these windows, one of the big things that uh, we get complimented a lot on this particular floor plan is you have a full panoramic view of your campsite. Most of these fifth wheels in a traditional rear living setting like this, you're gonna have either entertainment here, kitchen there, you know, it's mix and match. But with this one, it gives you all of that nice view into your campsite, which is really important. Um, Talking about those windows as well, these are all the nice dual pane insulated windows. So again, if you're gonna be using it in that really high heat climate or you know cooler temperatures, it's gonna help regulate things inside here. Um, you're gonna have full power theater seats as well. So again, you know, you're gonna have power here where you can kick the leg out for you, nice and comfortable. And then just beside me to finish off, we also have this four person table. There is two extra chairs that come with the fifth wheel as well. They're just up in the front closet there. Um, but very easily you can remove this leaf here and extend the table out like we have it now, or you can simply, or sorry, I should say, you can remove the leaf and shrink it down as well if you're finding it's taking up a little bit too much space in here. Um, so let's head up front now and we'll have a look at a couple of the cool features in the bathroom and bedroom. So now that we're in the bathroom of the 3080L, there's a couple of cool things I wanna talk about inside the bathroom. So first thing you'll notice is the color of the cabinetry is a lot different than what you've seen in the main area. And that's because Cedar Creek actually gives you a really nice accent cabinet in your bathroom. So this really nice white really makes it feel more open in this smaller space. And then of course, like you can see, you have a nice dual vanity here, two uh, mirrors for you as well. Tons and tons and tons of storage as well too. And then just on the countertop, there you'll also notice that's going to be your controller for your uh, AquaGo tankless um, hot water. Um, so you can essentially you can control all of the um, uh, the settings from your hot water tank right from this dial. Um, so you can dial up the heat or put it into eco mode and things like that. Um, with our toilets of course they're all porcelain. 
and you have a foot flush of course. It's actually a little bit bigger than the standard toilets you see in some travel trailers and fifth wheels which makes it more comfortable. And then in the shower here they completely redesigned the look of it so you have that really nice sliding glass door but a full one piece shower surround which has got that really nice tile look and they've actually upgraded the structure underneath the shower too so it's got um, a really nice sturdy base to it where some showers you may get into and you'll feel that flex and pop. This one's nice and solid in here as well and you can see I got tons of space in here. I'm about six feet tall. I got tons of headroom. The shower head is right where I want it so it's nice and comfortable for you. You're not going to feel like you're in a really nice or enclosed shower. Um, let's head up to the bedroom and while we're walking in a um, couple of the cool things that I always mention with the champagne is you have the option of upgrading to Shaw carpet in your bedrooms. You can even do that throughout the rest of the fifth wheel if you like to but if you guys were walking in here with me currently it feels like you're walking on clouds guys it's so fluffy underneath this carpet they do a really nice underlay in here um, and then of course full king bed on the slide for you one of the things to point out as well too is the amount of space that I have in between the bed and the closet here. There's tons and tons of room. Um, it's easy to make your bed where lots of these king beds on the slide are very, very tightly closed in. And then of course, this is your full walk-in closet. Now, one of the differences between a Cedar Creek and every other brand out there is the ceiling height in the bedrooms. So these have some of the highest ceiling heights all the way through the front. Like you can see, there's absolutely no dip from the, from the actual bedroom to into the closet. It's straight flat all the way through. So one of the nice things with that is, again, you're not feeling claustrophobic in this high-profile fifth wheel. Um, and Talking about the closet, of course, you can actually do a stackable or you can do a side-by-side -side washer dryer here, not just the combo unit that you see in most brands. Um, and there's, of course, tons and tons of room here. Um, on the opposite side of the closet here, um, Cedar Creek actually gives you what's called the King Wi-Fi router. So this is all prepped to give you that full Wi-Fi that you're looking for out of the campsite. <clears throat> So like you guys can see in here, this is actually the full router itself. And then there is prep up on the roof where if you wanted to put the, uh, the satellite antenna for this to become its full router system, you easily can do so. Couple other little touches before we head back down into the main area there is the cadet wall heater, which comes as an extra for your um, Cedar Creeks. So again, these guys are built to be used in all climates, right? So one of the nice things is, is when you have that fireplace or you have this little cadet style heater here, it's really cool because you can give yourself that little bit of extra dry heat to help keep that trailer warm if you're using it in the winter time as well too. Um, let's head back into the main area and we'll finish up. So a couple extra things here before I let you guys go. Thanks again for watching, by the way, but a um, couple of things I want to talk about was actually the air conditioning and the furnace inside this trailer. So there is some cool ways that they set it up. For an example, with your furnace, um, lots of brands that you maybe go out and look at, um, you'll see that they do what's called a tube style ducting or a circular ducting in the, in the actual cabinets and sidewalls of the trailer and stuff like that. You know, what Cedar Creek does different is they do an actual full uh, straight duct system in your floor directly off your furnace. Big benefit that you have with this is you're not getting as much restriction on your furnace that you would with the, the tube style ducting and you're going to get a vent in every single room of this fifth wheel which is so important when it comes to using it in the winter time and even helping keeping that underbelly a little bit extra, getting some extra heat down there as well too. So um, with your air conditioning, this is a dual air conditioning system. It's a whisper quiet AC. So the way that I'm talking to you guys right now is actually the air conditioner is going to run quieter than my voice essentially. Um, you have a 15,000 BTU AC with that heat pump on there as well. Again, making it a little bit more beneficial for that wintertime use. Um, and then of course up in the front you'll have your 13 and a half um, standard air conditioner. So no matter what climate you're using this fifth wheel in guys, if it's, if it's cold or if it's hot, you're set up to do anything that you want to do with Cedar Creek, especially in your Champagne series. Thanks again for watching guys. If you have any questions at all, don't be shy to reach us at Rangeland or you can contact me directly through my email which is tyler at rangelandrv.com and thanks again for watching happy camping